What's going on everyone? I'm Manny Spatters reporting in from this weird purgatory that I found myself in and today what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some random Pokemon fusions, make some and then try and draw them by hand or not by hand, well by mouse in paint and see how that turns out. So this is the Pokemon Fusion Generator, it will be linked in the description and this is Paint! Pretty self-explanatory. Should know what paint is by now if you're over the age of three. So, uh, let's not waste any time here. Let's see what we can get. We got Tritos here right now, but we don't want to do Tritos. Now, there's actually an option to add a third fusion in as like the coloration for it. Let me see, so if I set that to none and we do a random fusion, it takes on the coloration of the first Pokemon. So you get that, we, get, we got like Hooray, for example. Or Bliss- Oh, hey there, buddy. Blisseroth. And if we add a third fusion in here, we get Blisser- Whoa! How did that happen? Shit, wh what? I mean, sure, okay. Let's try that one again. Blisser- oh, Ah, wait, you're telling me that that random thing picked up Blissey? That's- Okay, well, all random. Here we go. Oh, this is cool! This is cool! Okay, no, no, I need to- I need to focus. Okay, so we're going to do a random fusion in three, two, one. Here we go, we're gonna draw it. It's a Cellalalalion. <laughs> it's a Cellalalalion. All right, let's draw this bad boy. So if you came here for art advice, you came to the right place because I'm actually the greatest artist that the world has ever known. So in order to become a great artist like me, you first need to know the basics. The basics is you always start with the right arm. Don't question it. You just do it. So here we go. Bam. Starting with the right arm. It's like a sharp blade. Ooh, look at that sharp blade. He's like a Scyther. If Scyther was an Empoleon Celebi fusion. And then we go up here and then he has like a leg. Most things do have legs. So keep that in mind while you're making your perfect art. And then he has a foot down here, which has a sharp foot. For some reason, that was a bit too sharp of a foot, actually. Oh, okay. No, this, this, no, this still works, actually. This still works. And he has, like, more toes. He has, like, another toe. Mm, okay, no, no, no. No going backsies. No takesies backsies. That's the main rule of this. No takesies backsies. If you takesies backsies, then you're a coward. And you shouldn't ever pick up a pen. I'm kidding. That's not, that's not, I'm sorry. That, that was mean of me. But okay, okay. We, so we got the foot. And then the secondary foot, which is, oh, they debated me on the secondary foot. But no. No takes these backsies. Okay. I thought the secondary foot was gonna look a different way. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh do. Oh, okay. And then we come up here and it has like the wing. Perfect. And of course he has another sharp blade. Not quite as sharp as the first blade, but you know what? We're rolling with it. It's fine. And then he comes up here. He has like another little sharp bit here and a sticky outy bit. We all like the sticky outy bits. They're probably the best part of any picture, actually, the sticky outy bits. And of course, there's a sticky outy bit here. It goes like that. Okay, nice. And then we kind of come around here to where the facial region starts to uncover itself. And when you uncover the facial region, you see all sorts of things like eyes and nose and hopes and dreams inside the brain that will never be achieved. But it's okay, just keep trying anyway. Here we go, bam. And there's one of the- Oh, there's one of the outstanding features right there. The trident head thing that Empoleon has. And we go up and oh, oh, oh yes, yes. Oh, we're making some art now. Oh, now we're cooking with gas. Oh, now we're cooking with gas, yes! Oh, this is coming along beautifully, I have to say. And we come up. Oh, oh, okay. It may have made a little bit of a, a little bit too far away from the original one, but it's fine. It's okay. There we go. Now we have the basic outline of what we want from this, uh, this quite frankly beautiful creature, in my personal opinion. So this little bit kind of comes out here, and this little piggy went to market, and this little piggy went wee 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 all the way around the blady bits. And that's how that works. Kind of. But there's no takesies backsies here. And then he has like his little fingies. There you go. There's some fingies for you. They they are definitely fingers. They they may not look like it, but they are definitely fingers. And then he has oh, and then he has the crotchal region kind of expand here. Okay. I see you. I see you expanding your crotchal region. You know, something that most people do eventually do. 
There we go. Bam. And we had the follow-up to the expanded crotchal region, which kind of like curves around here a little bit and kind of thins out near the top. Perfect. Okay. Now we want to kind of cut off the kind of foot area so that looks different. We cut off the little foot area here, has a little bit of, a little bit, a little bit of something going on there. Don't worry. When we start to color this, it's all gonna come together and it's gonna look absolutely beautiful. Don't you worry. So then we have this little pink area here. No, 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 that's the pink area there, but no takes these backsies, so now he just has like a chip on his shoulder, like he's pissed off about something. No takes these backsies. Okay, and then we kinda kinda curves around here. That's the that's a little bit of a nose that it has. Because if I know something about the nose, it's that the nose knows, and the nose has become a little bit longer than I originally anticipated it to be. This is supposed to be the nose. Hmm. Oh, and you know what I've missed? Oh, silly me, I missed the I missed the Sharpie bit here. Yeah, there is a Sharpie bit here. Oh, there is, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what, no takes these backsies, but we can remove a little part of it here because it's fine. Because it's supposed to be like that. That's what it's supposed to be like that. Okay, okay, now that we've done that, we kind of fill out the rest of the tuxedo because he wants to look good. He's going to a ball, and at the ball, Jeremy will be there, and that bitch Hermione. God, I hate her. She's the worst, honestly, Chad. Don't ever talk to Hermione. God, she- Now, I know you're gonna think, oh, Hermione from Harry Potter? No, not Hermione from Harry Potter, obviously. Come on. She's a wonderful individual. What is going on here? So there's like, there's like kind of like a, what is going on here, actually? There is like a little ingrate thing that comes in here, and it goes around. It goes around. Okay, that's that's fine. And then it kind of like comes up here and then goes in there and then go travels upwards. Yes. But then like here, it comes down, comes down, um, and it goes inward. Right. What is happening here? I'm I'm losing I'm losing track of what exactly is going on with this kind of head area now. Not really sure what's going on here, but it's okay because we have a little bit of a little bit of blue going on here, and I think this is also part of the tux. It's a little bit of blue going on there too. May have messed that up a little bit, but it's okay. No takes these backsies, like I said. And now we want to work on the eyes. We're gonna add some coloration in a second. We're actually gonna. Finish up this little head bit here. There we go. We're gonna work on the eye. The eye is a very important part of the face. It allows you to see. Therefore, we need a really big eye going on here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what you want to see. That is what you want to see. And then we have like a little smaller kind of eye piece here. I would some would say it was two eyes. It's not. It's not two eyes. Don't be dumb. We kind of like kind of okay. So now we come in like that, and it's look honestly, it's looking good. See, now what we have to do, ooh, let me just fill that in there. Now what we have to do is start coloring things in. So, as you can see, the eye region is yellow. And so is, oh, but to a lesser extent, these little areas here. And to an even lesser extent, but you know what, we don't have that color. This area here and the fingies. So we color in the fi- oh, no, 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 a, 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 we color in the fingies. There we go, perfect. And now we have a lot of what I would call magenta coming in here. Not really sure if that's actually the color. In fact, I'm not really sure how I get that color. I think I can do this and like pick a color on screen. Maybe not. I'm not really sure. What if I do this? Yo, what if I, what if I, what if I do this? Oh, oh, no, don't be coloring stuff. Aha! See, now I should be able to get the exact colors. I think, anyway. Give me- Yes! I got the exact uh, I think that's- I think that's accurate. There we go. And we have a little bit of a lighter one here. A little bit of a lighter area on, I think, here? Oh, no! That's not what I wanted. Oh, dear, oh, do. Okay, what we're gonna have to do is kind of cut this area. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We're gonna have to cut this area off here. And then we're gonna have to color in this bit the correct color, obviously. And we go, ah, there you go. And that's more of what I'm looking for for the body. I'm looking for this kind of color. Oh, what is happening to you? Who did this? Was it me? I think it was. Oh, no. But no, we have some white. Wait, where did the white areas go? There was definitely supposed to be white areas. I think it's like 
this bit. Yeah, it was definitely supposed to be this bit. So you know what? Let's go ahead and fill that bit in there. And there was, yeah, that that's a white, I think this is a white area. Yeah, that that's black. You fool, what have you done? There we go, a little bit of a white area. And you know, there, there's a little tad little baby bit of blue in there too. There you go, there you go. Oh, no, 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 not, not, not quite like that. There you go. Per almost perfect. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountains, something, something river. Okay, and see, it's all coming together now. Oh, it's all coming together now. Yeah, I, I see this. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of this. This is gonna, in fact, I won't even be able to, to differentiate the two. Honestly, once we get to the end of this. Yeah, we got that, fill that in. Oh, this is coming together really well. I'm very proud of this. Absolutely beautiful. Wait, no, 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 no. Absolutely beautiful work of art here. It's a co incorrect color. There we go, nice. So that's almost done. And we just need to fill out a couple more colors here to, to kind of like get that bit in there. That is not correct. Can we please keep it correct? Come on, I'm, I'm running a tight ship here. I'm trying to make sure that we have some beautiful works of art for everyone to enjoy. You're just soiling it. Hold on, where is the white bit? Is that the white bit? I, I think, I think this is the white bit. Yes, it's, 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 it's perfect. Hold on, wait, it's not quite perfect yet. There, there's one more thing I need to do. There's one more thing I need to do. And it's to come in here, give it a little bit of an eyeball. Oh yes, now it has some life to it. Now it has some life to it. Nice. So that is a mission accomplished, if I ever saw one. And in fact, why stop there? Let's go ahead and make ourselves a potentially easier to draw work of art. Let's just go and grab another one. All right, back on the Fusion website. Hopefully it's something easier this time. Random. Oh, no, no, I'm not doing a Pelipper Fusion. Nope, not doing that. Ah, it's a Licky Bat. Oh, I can totally get down with that. Let's do this one. All right, Licky Bat, let's draw you, shall we? First off, like I said, you always start with the right arm. If you don't start with the right arm, you're a liar, you're a cheat, and you're a coward. All right, so I'm um, considering this thing doesn't really have a right arm, we'll start with the right wing because it's basically the same thing anyway. And you know, Ben Shapiro, right wing, destroying the liberals with facts and logic. You know, it all makes sense if you really think about it. Oh, okay, so we come down here, very nice and thin. Nice and thin, the real, the real thing you wanna get right here is the thinness of the wing. It's very important. There we, oh, that's perfect. Oh, now that's hot. Now that's, oh, sorry, that's a, ooh, that's a dead meme. Shush, shouldn't be making dead memes in these videos. Oh, I'm just gonna date this by about two weeks. Great, in two weeks, no one's gonna watch this video anymore. I'm sorry. All right, now we come up and we get the ear. Get the ear, grab the ear, firmly grasp the ear. Okay, that was a, not a great grasping on the ear, but, We'll work with it, it's fine. Like I said, no takesies backsies. If you take these backsies, you're also a coward and you wouldn't have made it through the winter. Okay, we got a little bit of a claw going on there and a big wide open wing for a big wide open boy. He's very strong and handsome. There we go, perfect. Little bit too skinny there. Maybe needs a little bit of meat on those bones. Get him some chicken curry, we will be fine. And now, now, as you can see, it's a very, very important thing here. The wing does not come from the side of the body, it comes from the inside. So what we wanna do is leave a little bit of a gap there and continue the body around. And we continue the body around, and we continue the body around. See, now we can take away parts of this for the tongue later on, but what we wanna make sure that we do is get the wing correctly coming off here. Oh yes. That is absolutely wonderful. And let me tell you, if you are drawing alongside me, I'm sure that you're doing as best as you can, but don't worry if it doesn't quite look like my picture because, you know, experts, beginners, it's okay to be a little bit behind me. Okay, and now we, felt we have tiny little eyes there, but we won't focus on the eyes just yet. What we wanna do is get those little feetsies in. Because if he doesn't have little feetsies, how's he supposed to walk to Morrison's to pick up some sausage rolls? It's not gonna be able to. Oh, I mean, he could fly, he does have wings. But there's his little feetsy babies. 
Perfect. And now, the moment that you've all been waiting for, the mouth. Here we go, a big mouth for a big boy. And then that tongue, that tongue kind of like comes out this way. Kind of, oh, no, takes these backsies. No, we're not doing it. Kind of comes out this way. Oh, that's a, that's a large, that's a, that's a bloody large tongue right there. Needs a bigger mouth to compensate. There we go, there's the tongue. You can't see the tongue? I don't know what you're on, man, because that is a beautiful tongue right there. And he has a little bit of a wing kind of coming out there. And take it around town. There, wait, almost, almost. There. Okay, now that we have achieved complete and utter victory and have, you know, finished life, basically, we need to add the eyes. Now, he does have little black eyes, little beady eyes. Um, he has the eyes that would resemble some kind of Lord of the Rings creature. So there we go. There we go, perfect. And uh, the, actually, those eyes look pretty much spot on, in my opinion, look pretty much spot on. Now, the struggle here is going to be getting the wings correct, because the wings have a lot of blue on them. And blue is a notoriously hard color to paint. Notoriously hard. Very, very difficult color to paint. So what we need to do is need to get this around here. Nice and easy. Don't stress too hard if you can't do that. It's a very difficult painting tactic. I know, I understand, but don't worry. It's okay. And like I said, this is going to be incredibly difficult to get this blue correct. So we go ahead and grab the blue and... Wait, 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 wait! Wait for the perfect moment. Nice! All right, we were able to get the blue correct there. Absolutely perfect. I was really worried that that wouldn't come through in the way that I wanted it to, but it did, thankfully enough. And now we have some blue, and we have- Oh, whoa, 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 that's too much. Hey, 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 hey. Did I say that you could use that much blue? I'm on a paint budget, man. You Have you seen how bad YouTube ad revenue is these days? Dude, I can't afford all this blue paint, my lord. Okay, let's try this one again, shall we? And this time, with less passion. Okay, nice. And now we have a slightly off tint gray for the tongue. Now you may think we're done. You'd be wrong. How dare you? Now we're gonna go ahead and grab this. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we're done. And that is my Licky Bat. That is a work of pure art. I hope that you will try and draw some of these wonderful, amazing creatures alongside me. And if you would like to see more videos in which we do art tutorials, then let me know in the comment section below. This has been Patters. Hope you enjoy drawing like I do. And I will see you guys next time.